Hey guys, welcome to Onfire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a loading screen, blurred background, uh, just like shown right now, and you can choose how many seconds you want it before it completely disappears. If you want a slightly more complicated loading screen, you can watch the video in the description, or click the link in the top right corner right now. Then come back to this video, there will be another video in the description that will show you how to combine this video and that video together. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So first, we're going to be making the actual loading screen. Uh, go under the view tab and press explore and properties. After that, go into the explore, go into starter GUI, click the plus and enter in a screen GUI. And under the screen GUI, click the plus and enter in a text label. So since we're making the background blurred, we don't actually need a frame in the background. So we just need the text that says loading screen. You should have a text label inside studio and you can drag it to like the middle if you want. And then you can go into the properties of it, scroll down until you find size. And then you can change it to whatever you want. For example, maybe like 400, 200. So something like that. And then after that, what you can do is scroll down until you find the text. And then you can change the text. For example, you can make it say loading. You can make it scaled. Uh, you can make uh, the text white. And then go back up to the background and make the background something like cyan. Something like that. And then you can also just make the text uh, bold. So yeah, you can play around with what you want your loading screen to look like. Uh, but once you have that, go back into the Explorer and then go under the lighting, click the plus and enter in a blur effect. So that right there. So if you go into studio now, you'll see that the background is now blurred out. And if you click on the blur, go into the properties, you can actually change uh, how much uh, it blurs. So the default 24 which is already pretty good. Okay, so after that, you can go back to the text label, click the plus and enter in a local script. And then in the local script, you can write what I write. So local text label equals to script.parent and go down line and write local blur equals to game.lighting colon wait for child quotation marks blur. After that, you can go down two lines and then write task.wait and then put in brackets. So this is how many seconds you want the game to wait before the loading screen goes away. So we'll put it as 10 and we go down a line and then write text label dot visible equals to false and then go down a line and write blur dot enabled equals to false. So just like that and we can go test it out. So here we are inside the game, you can see that it is loading, and then after around 10 seconds, it should go away. And just like that, and disappears, and you are now inside the game. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If it helped you, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!